Oh, hi there. I am so glad that you're here. The Odd Squad needs your help in solving a case. Who's the Odd Squad? They're a group of kid agents like Otto and Olive and Miss O who investigate anything weird, strange, or odd, and they need your help today. So before you get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and pause this video and watch the episode from Odd Squad called Totally Odd Squad, and make sure you get your materials together for this activity. So what you'll need today is a writing utensil and some extra paper, and that's it. Okay, so let's get started. Oh look, we have a letter from Mrs. O. Let's read it out loud together and see what she has to say. Agents, we are so glad that you're here. I have a little story for you. A long time ago, when I joined the squad, I was a regular agent just like you. But one thing helped me really shine, cracking codes. I could figure out codes in my sleep, blindfolded, or even hanging upside down. And a lot of times the codes that I broke were patterns, a series of numbers, colors, or even sounds that repeat. I was so good at seeing patterns that they started calling me the Patternista. But now that I'm busy running things around here, I need to make sure that all of my agents are at the top of their pattern making game. The best way you can do this is to get inside the mind of a pattern maker. So it's time to get some training and you are all going to practice being pattern making villains and code cracking agents. And by the time you're done, you'll be on your way to becoming a Patternista too. So are you ready? Then hurry because the odd squad needs you. Okay, so let's think about what Miss O just told us. She said that she became a code cracker by understanding how patterns work. And what did she say that a pattern is? It's a pattern of a series of items that repeat themselves. And that could be shapes, that could be numbers, that could be colors, or it could even be sounds. So let's do some training and make sure that we understand what a pattern is and how to make a pattern. Okay, let's take a look at this pattern that we have here. So can you see which shapes you notice? Do you notice that the shapes go in a certain order? And do the shapes repeat themselves in any way? Let's take a look together. So let's see here, we have a circle first and then a square and then a triangle. Then we have another circle, another square, and another triangle. Are you noticing a repeat anywhere here? Let's see, so we have another circle, another square, and a blank space. So see if you can figure out what shape might come next in this repeating pattern. If you said triangle, then you're right. A triangle would be the next to come in the pattern. Because you'll notice the pattern that repeats is circle, square, triangle. Circle, square, triangle, circle, square, triangle. And what might come after the triangle in this pattern here? Well, you said circle, that's right. Because again, after the triangle, you'll see comes a circle. Okay, so now that we've done some training, hopefully that helps to explain to you what a pattern is and how to make and complete a pattern. Okay, so now it's time to solve the case and put to practice your skills of pattern making and pattern solving. So you're going to take turns with somebody in your household or somebody that's with you right now to both be the pattern villain and the code cracker. So what you're going to do in order to do that is get your piece of paper out and get a writing utensil. And what you're going to do is figure out if you can test and plan and come up with an idea in your head and figure out on paper what a pattern might be. It could be two items, three items, four items, as many as you want, and make it into a repeating pattern. And then leave some blank spaces in there and see if you can share your pattern with somebody else and see if they can crack your code. And once you're able to do that, then you will become a patternista just like Mrs. O. All right, on your mark, get set, get solving your case and practice those patterns. Great work agents. Now that you've practiced your turn at creating and cracking patterns, you have solved the case and helped Miss O and are now becoming a better Odd Squad agent. And at the end of our training, it's always helpful to think about what we learned. So what did we learn today? We learned what a pattern is, how to create a pattern, what kinds of things you can make into a pattern, and how can we can figure out what things are considered to be a pattern. So congratulations, agents. You have solved the case. Another case closed. Great job.